again. This is Church Organist with another Muse Score tutorial video. I've had a couple of requests on the Muse Score forums to explain how to save changes made to the drum palette using the instructions in the last video. There are two ways of achieving this, and I'm going to go through both with you today. As you can see, I already have the drum demo file loaded from last time and the first way is to save the drum demo file as a template. To save a file as a template, go to File, then Save As. You now need to save it in the folder where MuseScore keeps the templates. And this will be different depending on your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to open up my computer, then Drive C, Program Files, Muse Score, Templates. If you are using a different operating system, then use the file paths displayed on the screen. Just give the file a suitable name. I'm sticking with the one that's there. And then click on Save. If you'd close the score, and then go to File and New, then click on the Create New Score from Template option. And then next, you will see that your file is available as a template to work on. Selecting it and clicking on Finish will bring it up as a fresh score on your screen. And that is the first way to save your drum palette changes. The second way is to actually save the drum set on your computer so you can load it whenever needed. You may have noticed that when you were editing the drum set sounds, there were buttons marked Load and Save at the bottom of the dialog box, and these are used for loading and saving customised drum sets. So we right-click on the stave to open Edit Drum Set, and then click on Save to save our drum set. It doesn't matter where you save these, as MuseScore will open them from wherever you have saved them. But in Windows, the default directory is C, Program Files, MuseScore. In Linux, it is Home Documents. For Mac, it is the System Root Directory. Simply give it a suitable name and click the Save button. If you now click the Load button, you will see your saved drum set ready for you to load whenever you need it. If you load a custom drum set, you will need to repeat the Save score, Close down Muse score, and restart sequence. To make that drum set live in the drum palette. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you. <laughs>